All right, well, hello, everyone. Uh, Tim Time here. So, I was looking at this the other day, and I don't know if you've noticed when I go to adjust this, the encoder just, I don't know if it doesn't seem to work or what, but I have to turn it a whole bunch of times for it to actually do anything. Let's try the other channel. And I think I get the same thing with the other channel as well. And I know I get the same thing when all the frequency seems to be... No, there it is. The frequency is the same way. And let's see this. Like this... Intensity adjust and the select. Can I still see it? Yep. Let's see. Well, there it seems to be working there now, but sometimes it doesn't. I, I sit there and twist it and nothing happens. Uh, so anyhow, I was looking on there, and I, I wanted to see what software I had. Uh, and I happen to notice there's a new version on it. So I think we went to, yeah, utility up there, system status here. And it tells me software version 5131.17. And uh, I looked at the, there was a, a there's the date from 2017. Looked at it and there's a new version on it. So I'm gonna I downloaded it already from the uh, Siglent North America website on this thumb drive, and we'll give it a shot putting it on. And I put the uh, the instructions rather than print them out. I put them on my OneDrive, but of course when I went to start my computer, I wanted to do an update. So there's that. Um, but before I mess with anything, I want to do this, and then there's a recal recalibration go through on it. And uh, I believe this is pretty much out of warranty. I think I've had it for three or four years. I don't really use it that often, but uh, you know, it, it still works fine other than having to do all that. All right, so I'm gonna put my flash drive in. So anyhow, where it says system info, if you press the single button, you get out of it. And here's the single button way over there. Put this in. I get a message USB flash drive detected. So let's see, I'm going to look for update. Pass fail. Update right here. Firmware. I'm going to click that. So let's see, it looks like I want. The second one down. <laughs> I think I, yep, I use that to pick it. There we go. Um, and I think if I push it, I select. These two are PDF files, the first two. That's the instructions and the history, so I'm going to go to the second one. Choose that. Press the update. There we go. Firmware decompressed, please restore and wait. Shut it off. Turn it back on.
Still some crazy stuff there. Oh, it looks like it's ready to restart. Self cal by updating. I'll disconnect everything from all inputs. Press single key to begin. Press run stop to exit. So it says disconnect everything from all inputs. So to me, that's this included. And we're going to press the single key to begin. Press this button to acquire a single waveform. Each time you press the single button, the scope acquires another waveform. When the scope detects a trigger, it completes the acquisition and stops. What does that mean? <laughs> single waveform. Oh, there we go. So I pushed it twice. Kind of crazy stuff's happening. <clears throat> I guess that's a good thing. We may end up cutting some of this out of the video. There's no sense in watching this for 10 minutes. Ninety-eight percent. This is exciting. Ninety-nine. Oh, it says Press run stop to exit. Alright, and I'm assuming that it passed because I don't didn't get an error message. So let's go to system info and just see what it says about the software or the firmware. So that's 1.3.27. Alright, the newest one is 1.3.27. So it looks like looks like it's good to go. So let's just see. Let's go back. Push the single button to leave here. Well, these seem to be all perfect now. Well, I don't know if perfect, but they're definitely working. Yeah. So I wonder if it was the calibration or the uh, software update that fixed it. But that looks pretty good. I looked at the reasons for the update, and none of them said that that was that was one of the problems it fixed. But who knows? Maybe I'm just crazy. Yeah, it works. Works fine now. Before I used to have to turn it like 30 times to get to read anything. Oop. Probe. Let's do a 10 times probe. Oh. Sorry. Got to do this. There we go. There's the 50 volt range on that. So now let's go to B. Let's turn him off. Put him at the ten, ah, ten times probe as well.
There we go. So this should go up to 100 volts as well. There we go. All right, so that all seems to work fine. Now we're happy as a little clam. All right, well, everything works, and uh, that's it. So I just went to the uh, look for this model, the SDS-1000, because I guess the 202 probably means 200 hertz, two-channel. I don't know. But it was the 1XE, and... Uh, just looked at the software they had there and you download it right from there onto a thumb drive. And it actually comes with instructions, but hopefully your computer won't be doing Windows updates whole night long while uh, while you're doing that. So you can read your instructions. Alright, well, that was a success, so thanks for watching.